Welcome to weekly UAS News Update. We have four stories for you this week. Remote ID enforcement is finally beginning. We have a bill to control airspace in Illinois that's not going to be good. We also have a St. Louis drone bill update, which is also not very good. And then lastly, the DJI Vada 2 is leaking. Let's get to it. First up this week, the FAA's deferred enforcement of remote ID ends this Saturday, which is tomorrow when you watch this video. Now this means that remote ID is not required to operate any drone that is registered or needs to be registered. If your drone does not have remote ID at this stage, you can equip it with a broadcast module or you can fly it at a FRIA, which is the FAA recognized identification area. Now you can find FRIA information on the FAA uh, UAS facility map or using uh, an app like Aloft Air Aware, for example. Next up is an update on the St. Louis drone bill that would regulate airspace. Now, the bill has passed the city's legislature and is now on the mayor's desk. Uh, like we previously covered, the bill would limit commercial operation and attempt to also control the airspace, which is uh, something that they're not allowed to do. Uh, we've told them that, but uh, well, it seems like uh, they've ignored uh, everybody in the industry who's told them that they were not supposed to be doing this. Now, restrictions would include airspace around emergency vehicles, schools, uh, publicly owned buildings, and events. Now, if these laws are violated, the pilot would face a fine and then a confiscation of the drone. Uh, this is the perfect example of a municipality that's overreacting to proposed drone operation. Now, keep in mind, this all came out because this one guy wanted to have a business where he was going to uh, do surveillance on people in neighborhoods. And uh, the city told him that, well, you can't do that and you should not do that. And he decided to uh, stick it to them and, and push anyway. So uh, the city over reacted and created this kind of regulation. So uh, if you're in the drone business and you're trying to uh, create a, a, a drone business that's uh, going to create this kind of havoc, uh, keep in mind that there will be overreaction and everybody, everybody in this case in St. Louis uh, can own it to this person uh, that now they may not be able to fly in certain areas. Third this week is an Illinois bill that would also control the airspace or try to. Uh, the bill would allocate the lowest 150 feet of airspace to be controlled by municipalities uh, who could create also their own rules around public airspace. Now, if you're in Illinois, please reach out to Senator Julie Morrison and Linda Holmes uh, to let them know that this bill goes against the FAA's sole jurisdiction of the airspace. Others have tried in the past and have failed miserably at trying to do this because, well, it's illegal. Uh, it's also also interesting to note that this bill doesn't specifically attempt to restrict UAS, which usually is the case, but instead would apply to all aircraft, any aircraft, meaning also helicopters. That's another one that we'll keep you updated on. Now, ending on a better note, uh, we have some leaks for the DJI Avada 2. Now, there's been leaked pictures. This is not from us. Uh, leaked pictures show the Avada 2, which appears to be a bit more streamlined and a bit thinner version of the original Avada. Now, with the leaked drone images comes another set of DJI goggles with forward-facing cameras, possibly even to allow for an AR experience, now AR augmented reality. Uh, some of the specs also have been leaked, suggest a 1 over 1.3 CMOS sensor, 150 degrees of field of view, f2.8 for the camera, and then 4K 60, 100, and 120, which would be uh, somewhat new. Uh, rumors say that the drone will weight around 480 grams, which is Still not a category one to be able to fly over people. Also will fly for 27 minutes in normal and sports mode, and then uh, 12 to 15 minutes in full manual mode, acro mode. We'll keep you updated if we see more leaks, but uh, we'll put a link down to Drone Excel so you can uh, take a look at the article. And all right, that's it. That's all we have for you this week. We will see you next Monday for the live event. And if you are in the community, we also have a community event this Friday at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure that you join us. You know, it's just like my mom used to say. Is it recreational? <laughs> It's actually a bit more complex than that. A little bit of a zoom in. Dude, seriously? A recreational flight is strictly for fun. <laughs> I saw the smirk on your face. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the purpose of the flight. I'm proud of you. Yep. Yeah. Now, second part of the question. <laughs> <laughs> the game is rigged. That's why the game is rigged.